What's going on guys? My name is Zed and welcome to this video. It has been over six months, six months since I made a new haul video. It's been over six months since the last time I had left the house. Um, but I went to my local Dollar Tree, I went to my local Goodwill and I picked up some goodies. Now this is going to be just the Goodwill movie haul because uh, all I found today was movies and that's amazing. It's actually really, really, really refreshing to add some new stuff to the collection. It's the addiction, baby. It's the addiction. When I walk in and I see shelves full of movies, movies that have been coming and going for the last six months, I'm like, what What kind of treasures could, could be in this mess? There was also a shopping cart towards the uh, front cash registers. And in the shopping cart, there was a bunch of movies and it was buy one, get four free. So I took advantage and I got some really, really awesome stuff to add to the collection. So without any further ado, let's pull out this drawer so I have some place to kind of put movies while I'm going through them. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, we're going to start off with Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket. Now, I was kind of conflicted. I was like, do I already own this movie or do I just own Apocalypse Now? Because they're kind of both like in my head space is like, which one's which? Uh, but I did not own this and it does come on a beautiful snapper case. Look at that disc art. Look at the disc art right there. Look at the uh, insert cardboard art, and it's just such a beautiful, beautiful piece. What is this? The Stanley Kubrick Collection, digitally restored and remastered. Awesome, awesome stuff. Now, usually I kind of like have the Disney put together and, and what have you. This time around, they're just in stacks from when I pull them out of the bag. Um, but right here, we have a Disney title, Prince of Persia, starring Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, now, this one right here, I remember watching when I was younger, and I really enjoyed it when it first came out. It was cool. I loved the whole uh, time manipulation. <laughs> And then next up we have a beautiful Alfred Hitchcock film. This is an old blockbuster release, and that is Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Um, I own quite a few Hitchcock compilations, but there are a lot of his uh, earlier films, uh, lesser known. Um, but I, I really enjoy Hitchcock. I mean, who doesn't? Um, and uh, so The Birds, one that has a lot of really cool imagery, uh, lots of uh, use of like digital effects with green screens and blue screens screens and stuff so it's very very interesting um i've never seen it so there we go uh, and then we have robert de niro in the deer hunter this one i always hear a bunch about you have christopher walken you have meryl streep you have robert de niro and i, I think this is like a war movie or like a rambo-esque type movie um but i believe it's one like yeah five academy awards including best picture so the deer hunter um, there we go, adding a new best picture to the collection. How do I not own this movie, right? Like this one, I feel like is commonplace at any thrift store. Like you always see a copy of this. It's been out for decades. <laughs> Groundhog's Day, I don't own it. Bill Murray, uh, Andy McDowell. Um, this is fun. This is the 15th anniversary special edition. Um, I really enjoy this movie. And if you ever want to get into like a rabbit hole, look up videos about how long Bill Murray's character was repeating the same day. How long was he in that time loop? Because there is tons of evidence that he was in there for 30 plus years thousands of years like it, it's a very interesting movie um uh, for just being one of those simple comedies it's a simple comedy that's not so simple right uh this one i recently watched for the first time this year and i fell in love with it it's one that i've heard people talk a lot about but they talk about a lot about it in, in, a, in a fashion of like they're not laughing with it they're laughing at it but it's, it's a brilliant movie. It really, really is. 17 Again, starring Zac Efron. This movie is great. I think, what, who else is in it? Is it Leslie Mann and, um, uh, what's the guy, Chandler? On the, on the Friends, on the Friends. Matthew Perry. <laughs> uh, this is a great, great movie about adolescence coming to age, about um, making amends and love and, 
and uh, knowing who, like, knowing who your kids are, like, who are you, who are you bringing up, what kind of people they are, what, what stuff that you do then reflects onto them. It's a very interesting movie. It's funny as well. <laughs> That's also factory sealed. How much was this originally? I don't know. Someone bought it in in a Walmart in October on October 9th or in October of twenty of uh, two thousand nine. Can you see that? October of 2009? What? <laughs> so, this one was one of the flicks that were in... Well, I think all, all the next flicks are from the... Uh... Yes. All the next flicks are from that shopping cart. And then this other stack is from shelves. Uh, Hotel Rwanda. Don Cheadle. Um, a flick I've never seen, but I heard hear a lot about um so i want to pick that up based on a true story got to give this one a watch uh this is one that i actually picked up i don't know a couple months ago obviously um probably in my last haul video but when i got back home and was doing the actual video i realized that it was missing a disc i have also added a new special edition High School Musical Remix has different like DVD extras or whatever. It's still factory sealed. <laughs> but not only is this complete in good condition, it also comes with a slipcover. High School Musical Remix. Uh, so this is this is brilliant. I I own. Uh, I love owning different Disney titles, like different cover variants, different editions of it. Um, so even though I already own High School Musical, what, three times the first one? Now I own it this time too. <laughs> and then we have Primal Fear with Richard Gere. I've only heard of this by name, don't know what the synopsis reads, uh, but one day I'll watch it. About a Boy, another one that I've heard a lot about. Um, this is like a uh, like a like a a father figure. Like it's about a boy who gets dropped off with this dude, and he realizes that he really wants to be a dad, or that he's really good at being a dad. And he has like a lot of a lot of love for this kid, like a, like a big daddy, but like a drama. Maybe <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Now I already own this movie, but I own it in full screen, and it's one of my favorite movies, and it's starring my favorite actor of all time, Tommy Hanks. That is Apollo 13. I do have a full screen slipcover that will slide on the top of this, uh, but now I have a widescreen edition of the movie, and it's in it's in beautiful, beautiful, perfect condition. So there we go. If you never watch this movie, it's it's really good. <laughs> it's a very good about it's a very good movie about life and death. And then this is the final movie that I found in that uh, one for four, one for four, one for five, one for four. How would you, how would, if you buy one movie and get four, is that one for four or is that one for five? I don't know. Matchstick Men, uh, starring Nicolas Cage, Sam Rockwell, and Alison Lohman. I don't know. Again, I've heard a lot about this movie, and especially its name is something that I hear a lot. So I picked it up. I wanted to watch it. It's also on Snapper Case, so obviously I had to pick it up because look at that disc art, a beautiful pool. You have Nicolas Cage looking underneath somebody's door. Don't know what he's up to, but I support it. I don't support it. Don't look under people's doors. And this is my door, sugar. Mm -hmm. So, like, Children's titles, it's a hit or miss thing. Uh, sometimes they're in perfect condition and sometimes they're in horrific condition and it's just the flip of the coin. Um, so while I was there, I did find a lot of really cool Disney titles that we'll get into here soon, but we're gonna start off with a Blu-ray copy of Midnight in Paris. This is Owen Wilson, um, written and directed by Woody Allen. Uh, wanted to give this a watch. There were a good handful of Blu-rays there, uh, stuff like 300, uh, what was there, Pitch Perfect, um, probably a Hunger Games movie or two, but all, all the stuff that either I had or didn't really care to upgrade. Um, but Midnight in Paris, really good. A wonderful Disney title that I almost bought uh, a couple months ago on Macari, uh, but held off on. Uh, that sold for like $8, and I got this for free. Oz, The Great and Powerful. I honestly forgot what the title was for a second there. Uh, with the beautiful Wicked Witch of the West cover. Uh, spoiler alert, 
Maximum Lacunas. Um, this movie I thought was a lot of fun. I don't own the original Wizard of Oz because the only copy I've ever found of it was in horrific condition. It was a beautiful copy as well. Such a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, cover art. But uh, there we go. What, what is the... Yep, it's also Wicked Witch. That's awesome. How much is, was this retail? At Best Buy, somebody picked this up at one point for 30 bucks. I almost missed this on the shelf. I'm not lying to you. I had all my stuff. I was looking with a, a younger kid and I'm guessing his older brother. We're looking through stuff. They're looking for games and movies. I'm looking for movies. And we're kind of chit-chatting. I'm asking them, you know, hey, make sure to check your discs. You know, we're, we're kind of sharing information. What are you looking for? What am I looking for? Blah, blah, whatever. And I get done. I have my stacks in my hand. I'm going to walk away and I see a red spine that says Pixar. This is volume one of the Pixar short films collection. This includes, what does it include? This includes... The Adventures of Andre Wally D, Luxo Jr., Red Screen, Tin Boy, uh, Nick Nat, Girls Gang, Jerry's Game, Apologies, uh, Four Birds, and includes Mike's Car, uh, Bound In, Bound, Bound In, Bound In, Bound In. What the fuck? What which one's that? Uh, Jack Jack the Cat, One Man Band, Mayor and Ghostlight, and Lifted. The, I should, probably should have showed you guys them all. It's absolutely chock full of all of Pixar's original short films. The thing that made Disney and 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 Steve Jobs go, wait, wait, wait a goddamn minute here. We're, we're on to something. Awesome pickup. And it's in great condition. I believe I'm only one movie away from completing the entire Lord of the Rings saga. Uh, this is the this is the first Hobbit movie, the un 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 an unexpected journey, still factory sealed. This is definitely a Walmart um, Black Friday pickup. Um, the only one I'm missing, I believe, is um, Desolation of Smog. And then I have all of them. So there we go. Y'all, 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 y'all. This right here is a movie that I've been hunting for for a very, very long time. One of the best Disney movies of all time, not just of recent, of all time. I watched it again this year. I watched it last year. I watched it the year before that. This movie is fantastic. Zootopia. Nick Wilde is one of the greatest Disney characters. Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde are two of the best Disney characters, the best Disney duos. Absolutely love this movie. I have a huge, huge crush on Jason Bateman. Um, so that's very obvious, but I absolutely adore this movie and I am over the moon about adding this to the collection. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No! It's all four of the original Christopher Reeve Superman movies on Snapper Case. What? This was such a cool pickup. When I originally saw them on the shelves, they were kind of spread out and I found two, I found four, I found three, but I couldn't find one and I was very, you know, upset. I was sad. I was, I was like, oh man, if I, if I, if I can find the first one, I'll pick them up. And after 20 minutes of searching the shelves, I finally found it. So we have Superman, the motion picture. We have Superman two. We have Superman three with Richard Pryor. And then Superman four, the quest for peace. Only seen the first two, but these are absolutely brilliant for the collection. Let's look at the inside art. Oh, disc has no art, but you can see all the characters inside, some Lois Lane action. This has inside art. Oh, look at that American flag. Isn't that what inspired um, Sam Raimi to do the American flag in Spider-Man, in one of his Spider-Man movies? Sp uh, Superman three, look at that. So amazing. And then Superman for the quest for <laughs> look at that. That probably has the best, the coolest inside art. This one, I don't even know what it is. I don't know if it's just a bunch of shorts or if it's an actual movie of sorts, but it's a, oh yeah, it's a short subject from 1959 and that is Donald in Mathematic Land. I don't know, picked it up. It had Disney on the, sp on the spine. Another Disney movie with Dennis Quaid. I love sports movies, especially Disney sports movies. I don't know what it is about them. I don't watch sports, not a sports fan, but I love sports movies. The Rookie. 
Isn't that the that's the that's the young uh, that's the that's the shithead, the little chitlin from Two and a Half Men. He's the half man, right? I think so. And then the last two movies are some more horror for my collection. Not a horror fan, but I love zombies, I love slashers, I love psychological thrillers, that sort of stuff. 28 Days Later is an absolute must. 28 Weeks, not as good, but 28 Days, really, really good. Now, if you know anything about these Saw movies, you know there is an abundance of uh, cover variants, of different editions and stuff. And I owned the first Saw movie on an old blockbuster release. And uh, Saw is one of my all-time favorite movies. And I found this right here, so I had to pick it up. It has um, a, a foot chopped off. The disc is in the, is, uh, in the shape of a saw. Um, and it's just, it's a see-through case, see-through cover. And uh, every puzzle has its pieces. Um, that's such a brilliant, brilliant addition to the collection. And I actually have my Saw movies out over here because I did a reaction to Spiral, the trailer for Spiral, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I have I have yet to put them back on the shelf, and they've just been sitting there forever. So there you guys have it. That is my recent Goodwill haul uh, for this month, or maybe I'll go back, who knows. But isn't that great? Thumbnail time. Mm. These are such great finds. I am so happy to add them to the collection. I, uh, it's been a while since I've made a video, so hopefully this turned out okay. Uh, hopefully my incessant huffing and puffing, trying to catch my breath because I'm in a lot of pain right now. I'm sweating. Uh, didn't annoy you too much. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, I'll be talking to you when I talk to you. Peace.